same thing I've seen in every case. If you can get a progressive government statist slave of the system out to fire firearms, they will convert to a real liberal Thomas Jefferson style. Liberals become real liberals. Join the libertarians. Join the human empowerment movement. Go out, take a shooting lesson, go out to a friend's ranch, learn gun safety, and join the rest of free humanity. I gave Piers Morgan that offer. He didn't take it. Now we've kicked his ass out of the country. I'm asking you to come and join the rest of free humanity. Come on with the gun. Come on. Oh my God, this is priceless. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Well, as we reported, over the weekend, Bloomberg and two other gun control groups came to South by Southwest. It's, of course, Bloomberg's Mayors Against Illegal Guns. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to use social media to brainwash the public about how dangerous guns are. One of the ways they get them to buy that is to ban guns from the public sphere and ban it from social media, which is what they're trying to do. Now, in response, Open Carry Texas put together a rally today, and InfoWars crew was there to cover it live. Still there is Leanne McAdoo. We're going to talk to her about what they saw today. Well, welcome, Leanne. Tell us about the rally today. Hi, David. Well, it was quite a success. In less than 24 hours, we were able to get more than 100 people to come out here, show their support for the Second Amendment, and try to just help the brainwashed public to see that these are not dangerous people. They are law-abiding citizens who just want to have the right to open carry in Texas. Uh, Justin Delosh was explaining that a lot of people think that Texas is just this, you know, free-for-all gun zone, but really we have some strict open carry laws here. Um, and then, of course, Jakari Jackson was getting into a little heated debate with someone out on the street, um, just explaining exactly what the law is, what the what our rights are, and why we're out here today. Yeah, I saw part of that exchange, and every time he would say something, the guy would say, well, you've got your rights, you're here. And he would say, well, we're trying to keep them. Essentially, the reason you're there is because Bloomberg's group and Moms Demand Action and one other came to the South by Southwest Festival and essentially began an assault on what we do have as rights. They want to take those rights away. And every time Jakari pointed it out to him, he would say, but you haven't lost your rights. And it's like, but people are trying to take them away. That's why we're showing up. Exactly. And then there was another debate with a, a gentleman from New York on that same topic saying, well, you've, you're doing a great job. You've got your rights. And it's like, 
if we back down at all, they just come that much harder. I mean, they're definitely on the offense. So that's, you know, that's why we're out here today to just let people know that this is, this is legal here. This is not something that we're doing to be sensational. This is a legal thing. We had a police escort today from the Austin Police Department. They were very nice. They were with us the entire time. A lot of them said, hey, we support what you're doing out there. And just really, really supportive all around. I think there was one person who, uh, that was the guy that Jakari spoke with, who was really just against it. A lot of people were kind of standing there with their mouth open and sort of like, I've never seen a gun in real life and taking pictures and everything. And, and for the <laughs> most part, it was just letting people know that, we're nice humans. We're not the ones that you need to be concerned about. We're not the criminals. We're not the ones that are going to be exploiting the right to own and keep and bear arms. Yeah, the guy that Jakari was talking to made it clear that he thought it was a good idea that some guns had been banned in California, that that somehow made people safer. Of course, we've had a police chief in Michigan and Detroit who used to be a police officer in California. He used to think that way as well, and now he's done a complete 180. The bottom line is, is that every time Jakari would talk to him, or if you talk to this guy from New York, they always want to say, well, you've got your rights, that's fine. But they're, at the same time, they're trying to take them away. And it's not just the Second Amendment. Bloomberg wants to use Facebook to essentially ban any speech in favor of guns, anybody showing their guns, talking about their guns, essentially turn it into the same rules that they would use for pornography to try to, to keep that off. So that's why they're there. That's why they're at, at South by Southwest. They're, they had a plea to people to use social media to try to brainwash people mm -hmm. against guns. And they're, it's very dishonest what they're doing. Even the fact that The Guardian showed this, this meeting where nobody turned up, gave it front page coverage, and let off with a picture of a big crowd of people that weren't at the meeting in South by Southwest. Yeah, and, and another point that someone brought up earlier is that, you know, someone was like, well, what, what's your problem with just getting a license or going and getting registered? And, you know, you have to get that to drive a car. And he said, well, you know, it, they didn't say that you need to get a license to drive a car in the Constitution. Ha getting a, having the right to keep and bear arms un uninfringed is in the Constitution. And there isn't anything in the Constitution that talks about getting a license to ride a horse. You know what I mean? So That's they right. definitely, that wasn't a concern of theirs. Yeah, they, they have over and over again, and driving is, is a very good example. They try to take fundamental rights of moving around and turn them into privileges, whether it's riding on the streets or getting onto an airplane. We know how this goes. We don't even have to draw parallels to Adolf Hitler and Stalin. We've seen it in our country. The, that's exactly the argument as to why we shouldn't have the government turning a fundamental right that is then recognized by the Constitution, ignoring that fundamental right, ignoring the Constitution, and making it a government-granted privilege. We don't want to see that happen. Right, and it seemed like we were out here today, and a lot of people, they weren't frightened, and it didn't scare them that people were exercising their First and Second Amendment rights out here today. We ran into a, a girl band from Japan, and at first they were a little bit shocked from what they saw, and then they kind of got a little, they were a little bit more intrigued by it, um, and that was kind of the response that we got all around. There was some older women that, you know, they said, I've never seen a gun in real life, and they were touching it, and I mean, that's that's what that's what the uh, Open Carry Austin crew really wanted to do out here today is to just let people see that this is not a frightening thing. They've been taught, they've been brainwashed to be frightened by guns, but it's not the guns. It's the criminals that are out there, the criminal aspect of people out there that we really should be concerned about. And that's exactly the point is that they want to try to make these guns invisible. They want to try to make gun owners invisible. They want to make them strange and scary so that people get alarmed when they see it in public. And that actually is working in a lot of places. And as you pointed out, that's the whole purpose of Open Carry Texas, is to make sure that people understand that this is nothing mm -hmm. that it, they should be afraid of, any more than they should be afraid of seeing a car, because so many, many more people are injured or killed with cars. And yet people don't instantly freak out when they see a car, because they've had an experience with it. As Alex has pointed out, when he has people go shoot a gun who have never been around a gun before, they they like it. Even Piers Morgan liked it right. when he saw it. So, but they want to ban it from the public sphere, the public square. They want to even ban it from social media. That's why Bloomberg was in South by Southwest. That's why you guys showed up. That's why they're going to do it again on Saturday. What time are they going to be out there on Saturday? Do you know? 
Well, the Come and Take It Austin crews had their meeting in the, at the same place at 12th and San Jacinto about 1130. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to start the march at noon. So it'll be again at high noon. And I guarantee you the parking is going to be madness on Saturday. Uh, it seemed like at the Capitol garage there was plenty of parking. So get here early. Okay, great. Great. We'll be looking forward to seeing that. Thanks so much, Lan. Thank you. Well, that's it, folks. Use your freedoms or lose them. Don't allow the government to turn them into government-granted privileges. Well, that's it for tonight's news. And if you want to support our operation, if you want to see more of this live coverage, things like this, support of the Second Amendment, support of your First Amendment, support us with a subscription. Join Prison Planet TV. You can share the subscription with up to 10 other people simultaneously. You can watch the news as well as all of Alex's documentaries right there online. Well, that's it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. And the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution. InfoWarsStore.com You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcode with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.